Lance, where are you? They almost got me. Please. But where? I, I can't see anything. Our gate. Blocked. There must be another entrance. Anyone. Please. Repeat. I need help. Can anyone hear me? I hear you. Like I'm too late. I have a few years. This recording must have been made years ago. And when the electricity went on, it started playing in a loop. <laughs> Whoa. I'm finished. Well done, hot shot. Your first delivery was a success. Did I do the Pharaoh proud? Funny. If by Pharaoh you mean me, then I. I approve. Now come back when you're ready for more. They're not all gonna be that easy. I'm back for more. That's the spirit! And before I send you on your next run, I have another history lesson for you. This time, I'm gonna take you farther back to Mesopotamia, like uh, 9,500 years ago when writing itself was invented. Mm, writing? Wow. 
expressly for the sake of deliveries, no less. People used to order goods by sending out clear tokens. Each one had notches carved in them to show how many items they wanted. So I'd send you a clay token with three notches, and you'd send me three items, like uh, fish or hats. Aye, something like that. It's what started everything we do. Everything the Carrier's Guild is about. Oh, I guess we're not just messengers after all. No. Now take this box where it needs to go. It's fragile, so be careful. GRE lab. Where do I look for the bodies? <laughs> What's going on? Nothing, unfortunately. Electricity's back on in the old transformer room, but can't get it working for me. Don't Think the it. fuse is blue. This was my chance to bring her back to life. What, come again? My wife, Megan. With the electricity, she will live again. So, you mean to bring your wife back from the dead? She'll be with me again. She'll bring the groceries. We'll cook together and, and talk long into the night. But how, if... if she's... well, um... Oh, how we'll laugh. And watch movies till sunrise. Okay, I give up. Where are the fuses? Downstairs. There are loads of infected. I, I tried to get it myself, but... I got you. I'll do what I can. Give you everything precious that I have left. My Megan is all that matters to me. I'll be waiting in our apartment. It's just below us.
Fix the fuses. Try it now. Wait! Wait a second! She's alive! My Megan is alive! Come, save yourself! All right. voice again, Megan. There were no crinkle cup fries, so I bought plain ones. You don't mind, do you? Sure. They could be plain. Why don't we watch something tonight? I'll be home soon. Bye. Is that your wife? Yes. My Megan. My beloved Megan. We're watching a movie together tonight. Can you recommend anything? I think you should let Megan choose. You're right. Thanks for the help. Me and Megan, we're so very grateful. I have some of her jewelry. She hasn't been dressing up much lately. Please, take it. I don't need it, and it sure means a lot to you. She does look quite stunning wearing it. Thank you. I'm glad you're together again. Package for you. What's my brother sent this time? Oh, <laughs> very funny, Angelo. What is it? A clock, a busted one. Yeah, I was careful. You did fine, son. He sent it busted. His little joke. I don't get it. My brother Angelo is a cynic. I'm 84. He's the baby of the family at just a year younger. So he sends a busted clock. Who needs a clock these days, especially at our age? What is time anymore? Do you even know what day it is, precisely? Well, not really. Right. It's just the next day after the day before. And that's how it'll go till we die. And that's funny. Okay, so Angela won't be headlining any comedy club soon, if there were any. But this old man finds him amusing. <laughs> Thank you, son. Tomorrow. Be 
begins tomorrow, we'll be released from the hospital. And you can meet each other. Message 2. Received April 13th, 2022 at 9.12 a.m. Honey, they're not letting us out today. There's been some kind of emergency. Maybe you know what they're talking about? Plus, a little guy just keeps crying. My arm's about to fall off from rocking him all the time. Shh, sweetie. Don't worry. Will you come get us? I don't want to stay another night here. How you doing, buddy? I'm looking for Bart. Hmm, hasn't been here for a while. Might be watching Andy's kid. Been doing that more and more lately. Andy? Yeah, Bart's friend. Andy's got the cutest kid, Liam. The way Bart acts, you'd think that he was Liam's father. Uh, where can I find him? Don't rightly know. I've only seen them when they brought Liam here. But you could ask around. Thanks for the tip. The Free People's Radio is more than just a broadcast. It's a source of hope. Look around. You see this? This city? It's not dead. It's just waiting to be... Good to see you. And by God, that's what we'll do. Ugh. Aiden, you've been around a while. You're practically one of us now. More people being massacred in the tower. Hi, uh, looking for Bart. Can you tell me anything about him? Oh, for one, you're not his type. Wait, wait, what? Relax, honey. I was just pulling your leg. The look on your face, my. To answer your question, I can tell you that Bart is as fine a man as I've ever known. High praise, I know. But I'm not just talking his looks. He's brave, kind, caring, loves children. Especially Andy's son, Liam. Andy? Bart's bestie, Andy. Those two are like two peas in a pod. And Liam, he's, well, like a spring pea, I guess. How Bart dotes on that boy. Hmm, so where can I find him? Probably at Andy's. They had a few of us up for some cool drinks just yesterday. Such kind souls. Up? Where? Andy's place is over there. Not far. You can get there quicker if you're any good at climbing. Yeah. <laughs> good to know. Thanks a lot. My pleasure. You tell those boys I said hi.
Bet you wonder where all the guns went, right? Army seized them after the lunatic killed a bunch of people. Hmm. Fresh fingerprints in the dust on these keys. Someone was playing this recently. Hmm. I bet I know who this belongs to. It can't be far. Hmm. Just like the one I found in Bart's bunk. Must be Liam's work. Huh. Steve. What does this mean? Looks like I'm in luck. Let's have ourselves a little chat. Introductions are in order. You're Bart, I presume. How can I help you? By giving back what you stole. Now you're mistaken. I haven't stolen anything. Wrong answer. You want to try that again? Though, truth be told, I'm happy to bait the info out of you. Open you! Miss Doc, Aiden here. You familiar with some guy named Steve? You mean Slippery Steve? What's he got to do with Bart? I don't like the sound of that. For sure, I know Steve. Haven't you met him? He comes to the canteen most nights. Stay close to your radio. I'll let you know when he shows up. You two can have a chat then. Thanks, Doc. Aiden out. Free Villador. Your neighbor, your city, once more and forevermore. Signing off. Talk to me, Frank. Look, we started off on the wrong foot. I'd like to correct that mistake. Have a drink. Yeah? For me. Uh, Frank, I really don't have time for this. I, I have to find another way to find my... Just listen. Walt needs to access that jewelry place. You get it? That's why he's offering... All right, anything else before I get going? Oh, one more. Night runners, you... Okay. Then go get them. Nothing changes in this world. 
some people are on top. Frank, that's uh, that's way up there. Yeah, GRE made them hard to reach for a reason. It keeps them away from the bad guys. But for a guy like you, Aiden, piece of cake. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 
Frank, I got the antenna going. Okay, let's see what these bastards are talking about. Down the guys and head east. Walls in. We need to meet him. They're moving, Aiden. They said they're going to meet Waltz, heading east. There is another antenna on top of a condominium at the intersection of St. Paul Boulevard and Peach Street. Just by the entrance of the main canal. Get it working and we can keep up with them. Got it. Aiden, the colonel seems to be evacuating renegade camps. First, the electricity. Then, central loop rates. Now this. It seems that Williams doesn't want to fight any more than we do. Or he really intends to close the sluice gates and back the chemicals up into the city. But his stronghold will be destroyed as well, so this evacuation wouldn't make sense. We need to expand the range to find out more. Oh! <laughs> 